Hi Friday! Welcome! Welcome to Friday Sews, where I talk about what I've been working on and what I'm going to work on. This week was rather light and next week's going to be light too, but I really need your help next week deciding on what to make for my Make 9 New Year's resolution. I'm hoping that you guys can help me decide between a couple of patterns I have in mind. But before you get, no, before I get to that, I'd like to talk about what I'm wearing. This is the coat I've been working on since November. So I used um, pattern 6585, new look. And it's the reason I chose this pattern is because of that hood. I'll put it close up here. I really like that hood. I think it's awesome sauce. And I just like hoods, right? Some people don't, I get that. And, um, oh, you know what? When I uh, first posted about this, I didn't know what to do with the seam in the back of my hood. Some people might remember that. So what I decided to do in the inside, I really like the way this looks, is I took bias tape and used bias tape on all of the interior seams. So you can see the hood and then the sleeves, hopefully you can see that all the way down, down through the sleeve here. I haven't done this seam yet, but, but that was my idea to uh, solve the seam problem. Uh, I actually tried to uh, French seam the arms, the shoulders together. And because of the fabric is so thick, they turned out really bulky. So my advice is if you're working with wool, the shoulders, it doesn't seem to French seam very well, at least when I tried it. Hopefully I can finish it next week. I also have, I'm making a mess. I also have another idea for the hood, maybe with some like really fluffy lining and maybe I'll even line the whole hood. Don't know yet, but that is still a project that I have to finish. So, um, Next up, I've been thinking about my Make 9, so New Year's uh, goal for next year is to pick nine patterns that I would like to sew. And I've picked out, I've picked out three already, which I'm not going to show you because that'll be for another video. But what I uh, would like your help on is deciding which patterns to make next. So uh, I've actually categorized them into coats and dresses and things like that. So why don't I go ahead and get started and hopefully you guys can help me out. I'll put them over here to the side. Uh, the first up is a coat. So I would like to make a coat, either the uh, Mimi G 1016 or the McCall's trench coat. And what I like about both of these patterns is they have a bit of a flair to them. So the Mimi G is, um, I love that cape. I, I would, uh, you know, that little capelet. And also I like the fact that you can take the capelet up and have a, a different kind of coat design. It, it looks um, like it would be really fun to sew. So that's the reason I'm interested in making that one. And the other one I like too. It's uh, more of a standard trench coat. Uh, now, I tried the Vogue, very easy Vogue trench coat a few months ago and really liked that, but it didn't have all the jazz that a regular trench coat had. So I'm thinking about this one because it has the, uh, the flaps on the front and it's got uh, the pockets, the normal trench coat pockets, and it's even got uh, a little bit of flair in the back. So. I really like this pattern, but I only want to make one coat. So you guys um, can choose in the comments below which one you like better. So that's number one. And I'll, I'll put some notes in the description in case y'all don't remember. That's number one. Uh, number two is I have been wanting to make some pants and I just haven't felt confident enough to do that. One, one reason is um, because I'm gonna have to do some fitting. I'm, uh, you know, my waist and my hips are in like two or three wrong sizes. So I'm not quite sure how to do that, 
but I did find the Amazing Fit Simplicity 8056 that is supposed to take you through it. I've done an Amazing Fit pattern before and wobbled through it, but maybe this one will be better because it's pants. Or I can try the, uh, the Butterick 6902 and do both the vest and the shirt. What I like about the Vutterick is that it's um, uh, my size, so I wouldn't have to do anything strange with it unless I run into some fitting issues. So that, that could be possible too. But I also like the idea of making a vest and shorts. So what should I do? Should I try some amazing fit pants or should I do the vest and the short? That's number two. All right. Number three. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. So let's knock out some coats. Number three is a coat or a cape. I can't decide between these two patterns. They both sort of like look like cape-like, right? But the first pattern, Simplicity, uh, what is it? 8263 is full on cape. So I love to make that. I've always wanted a cape. I like, um, I think I do the one with the pockets, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but I, I think that is uh, super cool and that'll be an easy sew too. But I don't want to make too many coats because I, you know, we're going to be out of winter soon. So my next Vogue 1866 is, has that similar drape to a cape, but it, it has uh, six buttons across the top. And what struck me is this one is I really like the fabric, the pinks and the, um, that uh, multicolored uh, pink and white. I don't have anything like that but um, I still think I can pull off that same look. So what should I do? Should I try a cape or more of a loose fitting coat? Let me know in the comments. That would be number three. All right, so before we get into spring and summer, because I have to think about, right, it's, this make nine is supposed to last the whole year. So um, I want to try something vintage. I have a lot of vintage patterns. I even have some historic patterns, but um, I'm not ready to go there yet. My vintage patterns are um, Vogue 1863. And this pattern I really like because of the blouse. So this is a blouse and a skirt set. And my intention is to make both. But if you see how the blouse has these little, um, I don't know, wings or flaps that's very intriguing to me the white blouse and then i also love in this design the pockets uh how those pockets seem to kind of just drape with the skirt i'm really curious to see how that's made so very interested in that one uh the similar well it, it's not similar but so the vogue 9294 is um oh okay the 1863, that's original 1949 design. The Vogue, nine, uh, blah, 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 sorry, uh, 9294 is a 1939 design. So this one's a bit lighter than the other Vogue. And again, I like it for uh, the way that uh, they seem to have this lace. They do have this lace that runs down the, the front of the bodice, and then it turns into these super cute pockets. You know, they're like little gathered pockets on the bottom. So I am super interested in making that as well. And if you look um the design, I'll show you the back. The uh that lace goes all the way up and then back down the uh the back of the bodice. So see what I mean? It's really hard to decide which one I I can make because I really want to make both, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to have time for that, right? Okay, so that is number four. So number four, the vintage patterns. Which one would you choose? Okay, we have two more for you to help me decide. One is a summer dress. And these are all patterns that I've had, but I just haven't made. And I'm, I'm really I'm really forcing myself to make them because I've always wanted to, but something always gets in the way. So I'm committing. I'm committing for 2023. Uh, these two patterns, both, um, I chose them for a reason. I'm trying to understand how 
things drape on my body type. And the reason I like both of these is neither one has a waist. So they are, uh, they are dresses that basically just um, hang off of you. And I think as long as I choose the right material, they will not turn out to look like pants. So the first one is a Vogue 9237. This is a very easy Vogue, one of my favorite types of patterns to make. And I like this one because uh, the back, it has a, you know, a straight back, but at the bottom, it looks like they do a little bit of bathering, blah, 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 not bathering, that's what I'm doing, I'm babbling. Uh, it has a little bit of uh, gathering at the bottom to, to uh, give it a little bit of a flare. And I also, um, like the way it closes with the hook or a button or not a strap and not a, not a zipper, right? No zipper, please, please, please. Um, yeah, no zipper. So that's the reason I like the very easy Vogue. But now this, this other pattern really intrigues me. It's really pretty, uh, especially the fabric they chose. This is a Vogue 1763. And again, it's a drapey dress. This gives me an idea of... Um, using some uh, really kind of a thin fabric for it. I really like the drape and I also like how the neck is covered with a, uh, a different piece of fabric, a sheer piece of fabric. And also if you see the arm slits, they um, also uh, have that sheer fabric. And I also really like the sleeves on the, the really pretty Vogue. So what, which one should I do for this one? Should I do the very easy and uh, just see what a dress looks like on my body type before I move into the more complicated, really pretty version? Or should I just go straight to this dress, the pretty version? I think I can make them both pretty, so maybe that's the wrong choice. So that is number five, that I need your help making a decision. And we're at the final one because I have those three that I'm not gonna show you. If you want to see them, you'll have to come back next year in January because that's when I'm going to uh, post the choices that I've made or hopefully that you've made for me. The um, last up is a really uh, two summer shirts. So I, I want to make a little uh, my life a little bit easier, right? And I've always uh, wanted to, not always because I haven't started sewing that long, but I bought these patterns again at the beginning of the spring and I like both of them because they're super comfortable looking uh, summer shirts. So one, McCall 7390 is, uh, I think I'm, I'm gonna make the sleeveless version on both of these. So this one, I like the way that uh, you you play with the pattern again. So it's, it's just the one they use, I don't think I'm gonna use uh, straight or stripes. I'll probably use something different but uh, I love the pockets. The pockets just seem huge. And like, can you tell I like pockets? Um, and they're right a part of that shirt. So I really like that one. And um, then the other one is the new look 6871. So this one I like because uh, I like the length and I also like it, it feels a bit, a little more loose than the other one. And it's also looks like I can really have some fun with the uh, color combinations again, where you have the top, that little band, that's a color. And then the, the body is something else. And then you have the trim at the bottom. So I really like both of those. Uh, the new look looks a little more comfortable than um, the McCall's, but again, it could be determined by my fabric choice. So that's number six. That's all I had. I hope you guys uh, can put some ideas in the comments. So I'll have a, um, you know, put the description of uh, the choices that I have to make. And if not, I'm gonna have to choose by myself. So I might just um, buy my blah, 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 sorry. I might blindfold myself and just randomly pick. So thanks again for watching and hopefully I will uh, have some results next Friday. See you later, bye.